Yeah, I mean, especially the words, it's really important to me to be saying something that I feel rather than trying to trying to take on other people's lyrics and, and make them my own. And speaking of words, call me maybe. <laughs> What's up with that? That's like the biggest tease I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a bit Here's of a Here's my number, of... call me maybe. <laughs> I want to definitely call you if you give me your number. Come on. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you don't want to be too uh, desperate. You just want to be like, if you want to, you can call me. If not, no big deal. You're not going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> <Okay>. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's kick off the iHeartRadio 4 Play at 4 today. She is guest host today, Carly Rae Jepsen. Nicki Minaj, it's Starships, number four. We are back with Carly Rae Jepsen. Call me maybe. Yes, there's been so many. Uh, you, speaking of that, um, I was just going to say there's been so many parody videos <laughs> for your song. Uh, one that's very funny to me is is the two guys. Have you seen the one, the two guys oh that, that think that Obsessed each other... Obsessed with Call Me Maybe. Yeah, exactly. I love that one. They're so hilarious. Have you seen the guy with no arms drum your song? Actually, yes. I just saw this the other day. Is it's that amazing fantastic. or what? Yeah, that's really cool. I can't even drum with two arms. <laughs> this guy has <laughs> no <neither>. arms <laughs> and one leg, and this guy is drumming along to your song. Yeah, it's pretty phenomenal. It's pretty inspiring. Uh, now, your song has been number one in Australia. It has been number one in Ireland. <laughs> been number one in the UK. You're quickly making your way uh, there here in the States. How does it make you feel? Um, I mean, I, I can't, can't believe it, to be honest. It's sort of Is it surreal. surreal. Yeah. yeah. I remember being in Canada and, and getting to number 64 on the iTunes chart and being really stoked about that. Yeah. And uh, the fact that now it's just kind of even going further is, uh, it's beyond my wildest dreams. It's really rad. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Exactly. I mean, I, I can't imagine it. I, I play uh, a radio personality, and, and, and I think that uh, when I get good ratings... I'm flattered and, and amazed, and, and I can't imagine times a million as to the, the things that you've achieved. It, it's it's quite incredible to, to look and, and be, I don't know, I guess I'd be, uh, what do you what do you think, maybe like a thousandth of her popularity? Oh my goodness. Am I responsible for maybe like a thousandth of it? You're so funny. One percent of one thousand. One percent of one thousand. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, we're going to come back with Carly Rae Jepsen. She's in studio. Usher, Scream. It's number three. The iHeartRadio 4 played four. It's 93.1. All the hits. Usher, Scream. Number three. The iHeartRadio 4 play at four. We are in studio with Carly Rae Jepsen, who last night performed on the Billboard Music Awards. Did a fantastic job, by the way. Thank you. Uh, how important is Justin Bieber's existence to you? Oh, Pretty important, right? He's like the main reason why part. I'm like even here talking to you today. How did that all happen? Um... It was just this sort of amazing kind of fairy tale in my life. I was basically working hard at music in Canada, and uh, he came home for Christmas just as Call Me Maybe was getting some, some radio That's right, play. you both have that Canadian connection. We do, we were uh -huh. both Canadians, and uh, he liked the song, I guess, and just tweeted about it. And um, every week he would kind of do some online sort of just like push, and I had never met him, I didn't know where this was coming from, but a month later him and Scooter Braun contacted me, and it just kind of, the song started to erupt, and they signed me to um, their label for the rest of the world, and I was like, on a press tour, like and literally a week after. Sense. No, exactly. It's been go. <laughs> it's like I pressed the go button. It's been nice. crazy. Nice. There's yeah. no pause button, by the way. Oh, I, is there There's no? There's only a stop button. So well. you just keep going. <laughs> uh, fun. We are young. It's Carly Rae Jepsen. We're gonna come back with the number one song and more from Carly Rae Jepsen next. It's the iHeartRadio Four Play at Four. 93.1, All the hits. We are up to the number one song. And by the way, people can win Pitbull tickets on the iHeartRadio Four Play at Four today, Carly. Hey, hey. Pitbull and Havana Brown. Uh, the show is in August at the Red Rock Resort, and we are going to get you there. Uh, Carly will give you the cue to call in just a few seconds. A couple more questions for you before we let you go. There are these potato chips in Canada, and I <laughs> must mention these chips because I have really dear friends from Canada, and they every time they go to Canada, they bring back these cases of these Lay's ketchup potato chips you can't get here. They are delicious. It's like crack. <laughs> it's like crack, but in potato chip form. Well, hey. And it doesn't have the side effects. We have our secrets. It's unbelievable. Why don't they have them here? Um, you know, Canada is just, you know, we, we've got it going on. i got to write to someone because I, <laughs> I tried them, and, and you know, it, it's almost worth booking a trip to Canada. It's an acquired taste. Sometimes they're delicious. Know, sometimes I love ketchup. Sometimes I not love at first bite, but I mean. I love ketchup. You uh, do? I'm uh, that weird person. Everybody calls me weird because when I get hot dogs, yeah. I have just ketchup on it. 
And so everyone says, that's so weird. You don't put mustard or relish or anything else. I said, no, just, just ketchup. I love ketchup. Uh, favorite candy bar? Carly Rae Jepsen. Mm. And don't give me a Canadian candy bar that we can't get here, okay? All right. I really quite enjoy a crunchy. A crunchy? Do you know what those are? Yeah. Okay. All right. they're, they're delicious. I wish I had one to give to you. Oh, I wish I had some ketchup Lay's potato chips. Next time. Hey. Next okay. time, I get you a case of those candy bars. Next time, you bring me a case of potato chips. It's a, it's a swap. Is that a deal? It's a deal. Perfect. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's get into number one. Number one song is Carly Rae Jepsen. You ever heard of her? <laughs> I, I believe so. Yeah, you are her. <laughs> Look at that. Number one song. It's the most sought-after song in our iHeartRadio app today. Carly Rae Jepsen. Go ahead and introduce it. 